the Teslong TF600 inspection camera features a joystick-controlled 360-degree articulating camera probe, a 1080p 6-inch tempered glass screen, HDMI out, and Wi-Fi streaming. It's one of the most full-featured devices in our inspection camera lineup, making it ideal for auto mechanics, plumbers, electricians, HVAC pros, or even home DIY. This device can record photos and videos, as well as audio for voiceover. After opening the case, you will see the TF600 monitor, its camera probe and handle, documentation, and a USB cable. This device comes in two pieces, the monitor and the probe handle. After you remove them from the case, put the joystick through the hole in the monitor and align the metal tabs and slots with each other before pushing the screen downward. It should click into place. To disassemble the device, push the sliding lock on the back of the monitor to the right while gently pushing the monitor up and away from the handle. All of the controls are within a finger's reach of the handle. On the bottom left of the screen is the power button, and as we move to the right, you will find buttons for mode, OK, flashlight, settings, up and down, and the ring light. Of course, the articulation joystick is in the middle. On the back of the handle is the photo video capture button. On the left side of the monitor, you'll find the micro HDMI port, the USB port, a micro SD card slot, and a reset button behind a rubber door. It also has a lanyard loop and a quarter 20 tripod mount at the bottom of the handle. The TF600 camera probe is not interchangeable, but it is available in three variations. A 0.15 inch single lens probe, a 0.25 inch single lens probe, and a 0.25 inch dual lens probe. All are five feet long. If you have a dual lens model, long pressing the capture button will change which lens you see through. The temperature limitations for the device will raise an on-screen alarm at 167 degrees Fahrenheit and the device will turn off at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. For the best performance, move the joystick smoothly and avoid coiling the probe into a circle. The device should start with a long press of the power button followed by the screen logo and the ring light on the probe should turn on. Press the ring light button to cycle through three levels of brightness as well as turn off and on. You will see some icons on the screen, including the SD card indicator and battery level in the upper right corner and the date and timestamp in the lower right corner. In the upper left corner, you will see the mode indicator and the probe temperature. If the battery indicator is low, you should charge the device. To take a photo, press the capture button while in photo mode. To change to video mode, just press the mode button. Now you can record video when you press the capture button, and the time code will show on the lower left-hand corner of the screen in red. In photo or video mode, you can flip the screen 180 degrees by pressing the down button. You can zoom in on the subject by pressing the up button. It will cycle through two zoom levels before returning to the original view. You can also freeze the frame on the screen by pressing OK. Press the mode button again to access the gallery mode. Use the up and down buttons to step through the content saved on the device. To connect to an iOS or Android device via Wi-Fi, Give the settings buttons a long press to turn on the Wi-Fi signal. Next, take your mobile device and install the app called Smart Endoscope. Open the app and press the plus sign in the upper right corner to add a new device. Scroll down to select the Wi-Fi Endoscope model TF600 and press Next Step. Go to the Wi-Fi settings on your device. Select the Wi-Fi signal shown on the screen, then return to the app and press Next step. Once the app confirms you are connected, you should see the live view from the camera in the app window. If you want to move your photos or videos to a computer, there are two ways to do this. The first method is to plug the TF600 into your computer with the USB cable, just like you are charging it. Note, the monitor needs to be turned on to see the files on the computer. Press the settings button twice 
and scroll down until you reach MSDC. Press OK twice and you should see the USB drive symbol on the monitor and can navigate to the drive folder in your computer's finder. You will see photos and videos from the device stored there and can drag and drop them onto your computer. Another option for removing the files is to remove the micro SD card. Insert it into a card reader and pull the files out of the DCIM folder. If you want to adjust the settings on your device, click the settings button to change the resolution, date stamp, and audio. Click settings again to go to the second menu page for the date, time, language, Wi-Fi, temperature, temp unit, auto shutoff, SD card format, default settings, and version information. Dirty lenses are the number one cause of blurry images. Clean the camera lens before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab. You can use warm water or rubbing alcohol to clean stubborn stains, but don't use stronger solvents. The screen and monitor can also be wiped to clean away dust and fingerprints. That covers everything you need to know to use a Teslong TF600 inspection camera. If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us at the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Teslong.